Oh, shit. Well, it is Friday, March 18th. Here's just a little quickie phone update for you. It's about, what time is it? Almost 8 o'clock. And I have too many projects going. Okay, so painting these wheels up with these ag tires uh, for the simplicity in the cub. These are the 1050s, the 23 1050s, 12s, and I got the 23 850s, 12s on the bull ones. This is my second attempt at painting these because I started using Valspar paint the last time. Ran out, went to Tractor Supply where I originally got the Valspar paint, and they switched to a Magic brand paint, which I have here. And this stuff sprayed on like fucking water. So I had to have the rim sandblasted and start over. So here's a try two. So far, so good. And I got Valspar. I couldn't find IH weight at the place where I found this, but Cub Cadet Beige will do just fine. Ooh. Oh, yeah, and you're probably looking at this going, check this out. So I'm calling this video Too Many Projects, Brindley Plow, and Car Crash. So, uh, yeah. Too Many Projects. I'm building this Brindley, or the sleeve hitch for the Bolands, which I need to find a smaller collar for the pin to weld in there. Yes, I know the bolts are in backwards, but they're just holding the nuts in place till I get them welded. Uh, yeah. 3-8 steel. This is for the Bolands, 1050. And I'm going to plow day! And plowing. We got disc brakes happening on the Cub here. I just got to get some new wheel seals. And I also have to find the pedals which might take some time so I got the wheels getting painted up gonna go on the simplicity and it's going to plow day I got this hitch that I'm building it's gonna get hooked onto the Bowen's 1050 with this Brindley plow and it's going to plow day and that's actually what I'm gonna plow with is the Bowen's um, and then the dual brake setup on the Cub happening plus mounting the engine, which I've been kind of slacking on. We started working on engine mounts, and then I found the plow, and it's like, ooh, I need to build the hitch. Because plow day's only a month away. Yeah. Okay. So we covered the too many projects, and we covered the... covered the uh, Brindley plow. Now let's cover the car crash. Rut row. Don't worry, the truck's all right. Well, kind of. Well, whatever vehicle I'm not driving, I usually keep here at Dad's place. And as you'll notice, the car is nowhere to be found. Insert picture here. And here. And here. And here, this is the picture that went on the Facebook page. It said something looks funny. So yeah, hi kitty. Coming home from the grocery store, got off the highway, pulled down the end of the ramp, looked that way, looked that way, and didn't see anybody. It was dark out, so I could see their headlights coming from a long ways away. And I even had a passenger with me, and they said they couldn't even see any headlights, so... Oh, I, I, that was confusing how I worded that. If somebody was coming, I would have been able to see their headlights from far away. So myself and my passenger couldn't see any headlights either direction. So we pull out, go down a hill, get to a house about, I don't know, 200 feet away from the exit ramp. All of a sudden, I got this guy flying up on my ass doing 90 to 100 miles an hour. I'm not kidding. It had to be at least 100. Uh... Swerves to miss me, comes back, hits me, kind of angled. My car does a 180 and slides backwards over a bush the size of a minivan. And I stop just past the bush. And they go another 200 feet before they stop. So tell me they weren't moving. So, yeah. Thank goodness myself and my passenger were okay. And uh, the driver 
the driver and passenger in the other car were okay as well. Uh, so I got all straightened out with. Uh, got that was a Saturday night. Tuesday I had an insurance check in my hand to cover the car. So Wednesday morning, coming to work, coming up a hill. This car crashed the hill. All of a sudden they come completely in my lane. Son of a bitch! I'm thinking. Here we go again. So I swerve off the road, catch a tree with my mirror, shoves the mirror back into the truck. You can't see it. Right there is a oops, block in the light. Right there is a scratch and a dent where the mirror hit the truck, and then it's kind of hard to see. Don't die light. See the scratches? Oh yeah, all the way down from front to back. And the car kept going, of course. So, uh, yeah. As you can see, I already had put new mirrors on it. But, yeah. Smash. Freak seeks. So, yeah. Hopefully, uh, my bad luck with vehicles is over because I swear I'm a good driver for the most part. And, uh, honest to God. It's that the case with the car, it wasn't one of those cases where I pulled out in front of somebody. There was nobody around, not anywhere near uh, where they would have not. There was nobody close enough to me to where they would have hit me if they were doing the speed limit. And like I said, myself and my passenger both looked both directions and couldn't see anybody, not even any headlights shining down the road. So, oops. So what do you do? So anyway, that's what I'm up to uh, this Friday night here and uh, what has been going on and stuff. So anyway, going to plow day, we do some plowing. Hell yeah. I just need to find that right side, right size collar there, uh, which the pin I have, as you can see, it's well, the hole's a little bit bigger. I want to get one about the same size, of course, so that the pin's not in there. Ew. Welder fast. Bolt her up to the tractor with the, with the plow hooked up. And, of course, weld my bracket fast here where the lift rod's going to attach to. And uh, test her out, paint her up, see she's good to go. Well, anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll let you go, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, that's what I'm, what I'm up to tonight and what's been going on. Just a little quickie cell phone update video for you. Thanks for watching.